Hey guys, how you doing? Jonathan Brown Menzies here, looking at a bill for my 2001 Honda Civic. Just had some work done. The main thing was the timing belt. Now, a lot of newer cars, they have timing chains. You don't have to worry about replacing them, but my 2001 Civic had a timing belt. And basically, if you don't replace the timing belt, it can result in a complete engine failure. This is RepairPal.com. It's recommended that you replace it every 60 to 100,000 miles. My car's got 203,000 miles on it and it's never been done. So finally bit the bullet. Gonna try to keep the car for another year. So replace the timing bell. I just want to go over some of the charges on the bill so you guys know what to expect when you replace the timing bell on your Civic. Basically the main thing here is the timing belt kit. That's all the stuff that they need all in one. The timing belt, water pump, tensioner, idler, pulley. And for that kit, they charge $241.60. This is an independent shop. Obviously, there's going to be a markup compared to the internet or AutoZone or Napa or what you can get on Amazon. And just to give you a quick comparison, the first things that pop up, obviously, there's some timing belt kits that are a lot cheaper. Carparts.com. I never heard of that place, but it's only $57. eBay, $185. Partsology, $57. Let's go to a more legit place, though. AutoZone, let's see what they got on tap, $112. I think the shop used one of the higher quality timing belt kits, so basically they just doubled the price, which is fine. That's one of the main ways that they make money. Serpentine belts, one for $28, one for $24. You can get them online, $6.99, $7.99, $12.99. So quite the markup there, but they got to do what they got to do. Then the other thing was a motor mount. While they were down there changing the timing belt, he's like, oh, you got a worn motor mount. And while he was in there, already had the car taken apart, why not replace it? They charge $70 for the replacement motor mount. And we got motor mounts online ranging from 41 to 139. So right in the middle, that wasn't too bad. MT51 interstate battery for $144.95. Basically at cost on the interstate batteries website, but I'm sure as a shop, they probably buy in bulk and they get a little discount. Valve cover gasket set, $48.97. And if I were to buy it myself, valve cover gasket set, cheap this one is $19.99 in advanced auto parts, AutoZone $21.49, and then they go up to $34, $59, dollars So they probably use one of the more expensive ones. That's what I'm hoping anyway, because they do have to warranty the work. And then guys, the big money is the labor. The labor, $630. That's to replace the timing belt, water pump, tensioner, idler pulley, replace the worn motor mount. And then once it's all in there, they got to make sure it all works. So they check the timing belt, the idle for leaks, test drive, and then the environmental fee on there. So that was the big money, $630 for the labor. Now, if you're just doing the timing belt, the replacement cost, according to repairpal.com, is $288 to $342. And as you can see, the vast majority of that is labor. The actual parts are only $51 to $53. And that also fluctuates if you're getting it done at a dealership or if you can find an independent mechanic to do it. They're usually far cheaper. Now, the engine mount, that's a pretty big job. The average replacement cost for that is $666 to $711. Now this says the labor is estimated to be between $170 and $215, while the parts are $496. Again, it's not going to be exactly the same. It depends if you go to the dealership or if you can find an independent mechanic. Like I said, they're usually cheaper. So that is a lot of work, guys. They did a lot of work. Hopefully, I'm going to get another year out of the car, at least. It's not cheap owning a car, even a budget compact car like a Honda Civic. So what do you guys think? $1,300 $37 for all this work. Timing belt with the kit, new battery, new motor mount, valve cover gasket set. Oh, and then there was an oil change and an inspection thrown in there. What do you guys think? And look at the breakdown, the total breakdown, $706 in labor, $590 in parts. Then you got the hazmat fee, of course, for the old oil, old coolant, that kind of stuff. So what do you guys think? Do you have a Civic? How often do you change the timing belts on your Civic? Another question is, do you have a Civic where the timing timing belt actually broke. What kind of damage did you have to your engine? Did you blow a head gasket? Were you able to turn it off before that happened? Because I'm telling you, with an old car like this, 203,000 miles, I really wanted to keep driving the car just how it was. I'm like, hey, the car is so old already, there's a high likelihood that something else is going to happen before the timing belt breaks. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button right now. If you really liked it, please subscribe, leave comments, 
comments. I respond to all comments. Leave questions. I try to answer your questions. If you have suggestions for this channel, please leave your suggestions below. That's how I get ideas about new videos I can make. Thanks again for watching, guys. Jonathan Brown Menzies, signing off.